for tuning in. Thank you for being part of our program. We appreciate it. And we are together again on the radio. There is nothing I hate more than a chick who thinks she's all that. You know the type. Women who think they are good looking for their age or better looking than than other women. Hot, hot, hot. We all can't wait to see him naked. We all can't wait to get our hands on him. Some chicks just simply aren't as hot as they think they are. You ever known a woman like that? I mean, certainly we know all the fat women who go around wearing these designer outfits with rolls of fat hanging out. They think they're all that. Ever notice those chicks spend the most money on their nails? They've always got the acrylic nails. Like those chicks in the audience at, uh, you know, Jerry Springer or one of those shows. They get the big acrylic nails and they, they spend forever on their hair and makeup. Thinking it will distract you from the fact they've got a big fat ass. You know what I'm talking about. You girls who all think you're all that. I mean, you all need a reality check, every one of you. Every one of you. All you girls who are large and in charge, you know who you are. And um, I'm always amazed. I mean, <laughs> every time I think I've seen everything, along comes another chick who thinks she's all that and thinks we're like sitting here waiting, waiting, waiting to... See her, in this case, see her naked. Okay, I mean, this, this blows me away. What I'm about to read you, it, it blows me away. I'm going to read this to you, and and you're going to be knocked out, boys. Knocked out. It's going to blow you away. And by the way, are there chicks we'd like to see naked? Sure, there are. Like those uh, pictures that apparently are uh, of that uh, Vita Guerra, who you always see in, like, Maxim. She's got an incredible ass, but has never posed naked. Except, apparently, for her own cell phone. Somebody hacked her cell phone and posted pictures that are purportedly of her. And she's even better looking naked than she is slightly close. She's unbelievable. What a body that girl has. Unbelievable. I'd love to see her do a spread in a magazine with nothing on. Hell, I'd like her to do a spread right in front of me. If I could dive right in. My hands on that ass. Tell you what. Unbelievable. Just about every chick in the Sports Illustrated uh, swimsuit issue, you'd like to see them all take it off. Take everything off. I'd, I'd, I'd say that's a safe bet. Um, I would say a lot of the chicks who appear in Maxim or FHM, you'd like to see them completely naked. They don't want to appear completely naked, which is why they appear in Maxim and FHM. But uh, you'd like to see them. Sure you would. Most of them. Then there are some chicks you haven't seen naked. And um, you really don't care. You really don't care. Well, here's a story. This is from the London newspaper, The Sun. Chicks were all that. This is just amazing to me. Listen to this story. Listen to this. Desperate Housewives star Terry Hatcher, who passed her expiration date some years ago. Doesn't say that in the sun. I added that in. Said that uh, she would post topless for Playboy for $10 million. It was recently reported that her co-stars Nicola Sheridan, Eva Longoria, Marsha Cross, and Felicity Huffman turned down the offer for all of them to strip for the men's magazine. But Terry admits the offer would be too tempting. She told Jay Leno, here's what she said to Jay Leno, if I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that offer, she said, because if I had, I'd be in Playboy. I mean, really, everyone has a price, and $10 million is mine, so I've put it out there. He said, my cleavage you get for free. I mean, it's not much further. Now, Terry, dear. First of all, let me just say this. For those of you uh, who want to see Terry Hatcher naked, 
There are naked pictures of her all over the Internet. You don't have to have Playboy take these pictures because they're already out there. And they were from an era when she, um, when her breasts were in a little better shape than they probably are now. And can I tell you something? I think this is about 15 years ago, these pictures. Her breasts were a little saggy back then. I've seen them. I saw them on the Internet. Naked pictures of her taken from, you know, like, like stills of a movie. You know, they do that in some of those websites like MrSkin.com. You know, they, uh, they, they take, like, frozen uh, uh, shots of uh, various celebrities and post them when, when there's nudity. And there's Terry Hatcher. And her slightly droopy breasts. I mean, come on, Terry. Who are you kidding? I mean, first of all, does anybody get even a million dollars to post for Playboy? Uh, much less $10 million? you, you got to be kidding. Hugh Hefner, we, we know, we know Hef. I mean, do not even consider offering her $10 million for that. I mean, most guys I know think that, with the exception of Eva Longoria, all those chicks on Desperate Housewives are over the hill anyway. They've all passed their expiration dates, each and every one of them. And by the way, it has to be that way. Do you know why it has to be that way? Because women are the target audience. If you had four really hot chicks on there, if they all looked like Eva Longoria, let me tell you something. Women wouldn't watch. You have to have women who are over the hill. That's what women like. They're very comfortable. It's just the way for men. When they put Ron Jeremy in a porn movie... You know, you feel completely comfortable watching him bang chick after chick. You don't feel jealous, or you don't feel I mean, the guy looks like like you want a guy to look at a porn movie. You know, out of shape. You know, just looks like a regular guy. I know Ron; he is a regular guy. Come on. So that's what they do on a show like Desperate Housewives. You have to have these chicks that are you know over the hill past their expiration date. Maybe they had good years years ago or something, but at this point, they're they're up there. That's the deal. It's like we've talked about on the show before. Ask a man and ask a woman to write down the list of the ten hottest women. You know, men will write down, you know, Eva Longoria, Penelope Cruz, Salma Hayek, Halle Berry. Women will always put down names like Meg Ryan. She looks so good for her age. Like, like, it's all wishful thinking on the part of women. They put women down that are either not threatening or women whose better days are behind them. That's what they'll put down. Meg Ryan. And you know one guy who sits there with a picture of Meg Ryan and uh, spanks a salami? Come on. And when we talk about people who are hot, these are people you can take your boxer shorts down around your ankles and spend an evening at home alone with them. In a magazine, on a website, whatever. Meg Ryan's not one of them. That, I mean, women always say, Meg Ryan, Michelle Pfeiffer, right? You know that list? Sharon Stone. <laughs> Everybody who's over the hill. And the reason is because women hope they will look good when they are over the hill. And these are the best examples of hope for the future. That's like guys who are excited that Julio Franco, 47-year-old second baseman for the Atlanta Braves, he's still playing. You know, because they, they, you know, they, they haven't tried out for a ball team yet, but there's still time. And it's the same thing with women who, uh, who, who, who talk about all the hottest. Oh yeah, Gina Lola Brigida. Have you seen her recently? God, seventy-five, and she's a grandmother, and she's still hot. Women say things like this. Guys don't say things like this. Guys start the countdown clock on every underage girl, you know, and every underage celebrity. Remember they did it for the Olsen twins and Lindsay Lohan, you know, guys are marking time. Britney Spears, remember when Britney Spears was hot and everybody wanted her? Those were the days. Everybody was counting down until she was legal. Guy, guys go in the other direction. We like them as young as possible. And then they got a couple of bumps in their shirt. That's it. We're in. But women have these lists of over-the-hill actresses. That, that's what it is. And look, they, they may be great actresses at this point in time, but they are physically, you know, beyond their sell dates. And, you know that sell-by date they have in the Cracker Jack box? That's, you know what I'm talking about. Once these chicks have sat on the shelf long enough, they've expired. Hey, it's time to rotate the stock. <laughs> so can you believe that? Terry Hatcher...
Oh, yeah, she'll pose in Playboy. Just give her $10 million. What do you think of women like that? Women who think they're all that? When in reality, they're not even half that. Phone number, this is Tim. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much, Tim. I was wondering, you kind of touched on it there, the uh, the fat chicks. I was wondering if you had any insight on that because, uh, you know, I see them out there with their, the guts hanging out and whatnot, like... I, you know, I just don't really understand where, the, where their logic is behind it. You know, more, than, more or less, they're just, you know, this is me, this is what well, I got. Well, they've been, re they watch these TV shows, and uh, people like that Star Jones, who I really detest, and I think uh, she's a big part of it. And all these other daytime TV shows featuring uh, uh, fat, mostly black women, um, and and they, they then they they see all of these uh, uh, magazine articles and the women saying, "Well, I know I'm I'm pleasingly plump, but I deserve to have designer clothes too," you know. And and so now you've got all these stores who are making it easier and easier for women to get fatter and fatter. Uh, one one disincentive for women to get fat was that if you get fat, all you have is to get a moo moo at Lane Bryant, and you couldn't get anything else. And now, clothing manufacturers are making it easier for women to just keep eating their way to the top. Basically, just self esteem has just gotten out of control. Well, it, it, there's all these articles reinforcing women's self esteem about being fat. All these fat organizations telling women we're fit but fat, but fit but fat, you know, and, and we're proud of being fat, and uh, we we need fat acceptance. And and there are women who just, of course, they want to believe it's okay to be fat. Yeah, so it just aggravates me to be out there and, and you see them, you know, like just what I can't even begin to understand like the logic and you know starting to warm up so you know they're gonna start coming out shedding those layers taking off those sweaters oh no doubt about it it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be brutal I, uh, oh that when that roll of fat comes over the belt buckle that that is that is not a good look I, a, I don't know that, where that the lady's got this right idea there. ah and you see it all the you see it more and more now these chicks wearing you know like uh, tube tops yep they, they go out and I notice they go out in packs There'll be there'll be one good friend that is surrounded by the fat ones. That well, that's true. Yeah. See, I, yeah. See, well, I, they call them tube I tops. Like, like I, I'm I'm going to call them tub tops from now on. It's like amplifying. The, the you can see that there. big tub of lard sticking out in the front. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, well, thanks for letting me get on there, Tom. Thank you. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. This is Brian on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. First Hello, time, Brian. long time. Thank you. Really quick, I just was telling Dino that uh, I had an ex-girlfriend who put on 60 friggin' pounds over the course of three years, called herself fat and sassy. I called her ass fat and single. Dumped her, <laughs> married now, very happy with being married. My wife gives more of a crap about how she looks than I do. God bless her soul. And I just want to say, too, that every time you mention Star Jones, I throw up in my mouth a little bit. So stop doing that, man. Yeah, You're I know. Me. I know. Uh, just having a look at her and what she represents. You know, there well, was a time when a woman looked like that. She couldn't get on TV. I, I, Those it, were the days. Appalling. I mean, imagine what her shocks feel like every time she sits that fat ass in her car. Poor shock. I feel for him. Tom, <laughs> blow me up. Here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Jennifer on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Do you care? Actually, I do. It's a long time, first time. Thank you. So this whole Terry Hatcher thing, I definitely, absolutely agree with you that she's past her point. But I think that maybe that was her point in saying, hey, I'll do it for $10 million, because I think anybody, I think she agrees, anybody who's willing to give her $10 million has got to be crazy. I don't know. I didn't see it in context on Jay Leno. I don't know. I didn't see it, but from the way it sounds, seriously, I think that she might be thinking that. I don't think she thinks she's all that. She knows she was a has-been. Well, she was a has-been as an actress, but there are many has-been actresses who still look good. Yeah, that's true. She does look good with clothes on. I'd be kind of scared to see her with clothes on. Yeah, but have you ever though. seen those naked pictures of her on the Internet? No. <laughs> I'm kind of with you on the older women thing. And Oh, God, Star Jones, man, you do. You talk about her a lot. Because I, I really object to her being on television. I object to it. 
Yeah. Uh, let's go back to the old standards. Did you see her would... dress at the Oscars? Oh, my yes. God. Yes, I that did. roll hanging out, like the bra roll thing happening. I, I know. That's very appealing either. Yeah, no, she had the, that back fat. I mean, I've got good self-esteem and all, but that's just... That's Isn't that great when you've got your bra strap hanging out and then it's it's like strapped down over this fat and the fat pushes up around the bra strap? That's uh, a great look. Yeah, and now on top yeah. of that, by the way, did you notice? Uh, I saw her on the uh, Oscar pre-show on E! And she was wearing Payless shoes. That's classy. <laughs> hey, there you are around all the Oscar them, De La Renta right? dresses and uh, all the Donna Karen and all that. There she is wearing Payless shoes. Great. And she's complaining that she can't get designer clothes. I wonder why. Yeah, well, because <laughs> you wear plastic shoes all the time. That's why. Exactly. <laughs> all right, cool. Now, after, believe me, talking? after a few years of doing ads for Payless, I, I think the next step is to do uh, ads for Dr. Scholl's. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, absolutely. I don't even know how wide her wide feet fit in them. <laughs> I don't. I don't I'll bet she it. even has fat feet. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. She does. You know Everything she does. about her is fat. Absolutely. She's, oh, God. There's some women out there who are curvy and not bad looking. Like Queen, Queen Latifah is not bad looking, but damn, Star Jones is just like above and beyond, and she does think she's all that. And that's like. Did you say Queen Fatifa? Huh? Did you say Queen Fatifa? Oh, that's not nice. She does look better than she did. <laughs> As a, there's a compliment. <laughs> Queen Fatifa. She does look better than she did. <laughs> she does. She does look better than she did. I, you know, but you know what you say about her? It's that old cliche. She has such a pretty face. Oh, yeah. The sentence that you never... At least she doesn't have side... The bra fat. She doesn't have that. That's well, we've never thing. seen a bra strap, uh, you know, hook into her back. I have no idea what that would look like. Oh. But you know that, that, that you know that's a sentence people never finish. She has such a pretty face. <laughs> if only that's she didn't have such a big... Started. If only she didn't have such a big fat ass. <laughs> I guess uh, for guys who like that. You know those hot chicks? Singer. Hot chicks, they never say that about. You ever see, hear somebody talk about Salma Hayek? She has such a pretty face. Uh, gosh, she does, though. But whoever hot. says it? But no one ever says it. There was everyone, movie, everyone's looking movie? below her she, neck. She was just <laughs> in a movie with Pierce Brosnan where she's running around half naked through the whole movie, and I swear, uh. oh my God, like my man and I just had mad sex from that. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, have you seen the new Paris Hilton uh, commercial for Carl? Oh, Carl Jr. Yes. In the car? Yes, I did. Oh yeah, that one gets me every time too. Of course, <laughs> I, that would be sexier if I hadn't seen the porn video of her on the internet where she looked completely bored. I know. I'm lucky I haven't seen it. Yeah, I mean, you would you would not be turned on at all by Paris Hilton if you could see the um, the lame performance she appeared to be giving in bed, looking like she was dazed or bored. I think or I think Not it's into different it. that she's being paid for it. I think she's definitely more of a prostitute than uh, into it for the fun. Yeah. yeah you might for be sure. right about that. But Terry Hatcher, already seen her naked. Uh, no, not $10 million, not $5 million, not $2 million. Come on. Yeah, no way. Leave I wouldn't buy on, that Terry. playboy. Leave them on. Well, exactly. thanks, Tom. Have a great day. Thank time. you, Jennifer. Bye. I appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Josh on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? I'm okay, Josh. Hey, uh, I do have to disagree with you a little bit on the Terry Hatcher thing. The reason is, have you seen the movie that those clips are taken from? Uh, no, just the clips. It's uh, from Heaven's Prisoners. It's some, you know, crap movie. Uh, the reason why I disagree with you is because those things are sagging even more than slightly. They're about downward belt. <laughs> I mean, I saw it in person. I mean, the movie's from, you know, like 96 or something, but it's it's gross. You know, I thought she was pretty attractive because that's, you know, somewhere near her prime. And, you know, I was, you know, 15, 16 at the time, and I thought she was, she was going to be hot and she was going to be naked in the movie, and I saw it, and, oh. Yeah, those, those breasts, uh, they did not have it together. Yeah. I'll put, know, it, put it this way. Yeah, you remember remember the her line on Seinfeld? Oh, they're definitely real. Yeah, but I don't know if they're spectacular. I don't know if they're spectacular. You know what they look like? Is they look like those helium balloons that yeah. once they start losing air and the helium starts exactly. dissipating. Exactly, that's exactly right. Fall. There are women who look great when they've got a bra on, and then they take oh. the bra off, and it, it, it just everything falls out. They call it the Wonder Box. You wonder what they look like once they get it off. (laughs) 
Well, hey, thanks, Tom. You want to take me out of the bong rip? Here you go, Josh. <coughs> Terry on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, Tom, what's up? Not hey, much. Answer me this question. Why is it that all the real women in real life are getting fatter and fatter and all the women in Hollywood are getting skinnier and skinnier? Have you seen pictures of Lindsay Lohan lately? Oh, I know. She's a stick figure. I know. She's completely lost all of her good parts, and now you're just left with this Callista Flockhart knockoff. Oh, yeah. By the way, whatever happened to Callista Flockhart, there's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> she's uh, she's like uh, I think she's a toothpick. Uh, another one uh, that women, another one that women Jenny. thought was, 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 was another one that women would put on that hot list along with Meg Ryan. Oh yeah, Callista Flockhart. That that hot and, list. And not a is... single guy I know would ever say she was hot. Ever. No, no. Harrison Ford included. It's like I don't even know how that happened. It's like he, can, you can pick any woman that you want. Harrison Ford can, and you pick Callista Flockhart. How dare uh, you? Oh. Uh. Like for men everywhere. Yeah, I know. How dare he, he dropped the ball for all of us. But but the Lindsay Lohan thing is seriously disturbing. Like I saw pictures of her and it really that really bugged me. Yeah. To see her have you seen her lately on Oh yeah. Like, How can you not see her? She's everywhere. Those pictures of she's just emaciated. Yeah, I know. That's horrible. Yeah. That's I know. What a waste for God's sake. Anyway, uh, thanks a lot for the call. I appreciate Terry Hatcher says she'd love to pose nude for Playboy if they'll just give her $10 million. Are you kidding me? 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is Paul on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, hey. Uh, yeah, my wife, she weighs like uh, 85 pounds, about 5'3". Hey. Yeah. She says that no clothes will fit her when she goes into the department stores. So, believe it or not, she wants to gain weight. So that Are you kidding? All she has to do is go to the junior section or go to a store like uh, Hot Topic or something. She'll find clothes that fit. Well, the thing is, is I told her if she gains weight, then we're going to get a divorce. <laughs> How'd she react to that? Well, you know, she takes it in stride. But once in a while, she'll ask me um, if I would still love her if she gains weight. And I always tell her no. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. I'm telling you, you know, you have to think about, uh, I mean, uh, preserving the marriage, you know? That's right. This is what I always say. Uh -huh. This is the package I bought. Uh-huh. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, when she came to, uh, when I married her, she uh, weighed about 80 pounds. She weighs about 85. Uh, she gained it in like four months. But we got married four years ago, and she hasn't gone up at all since then. I thought a snowball effect was coming, but uh -huh. everything worked out. Yeah, and you know, I've I've always told her to to keep it the the way it is. Uh huh. I mean, a, a straight man, uh, we don't really care what uh, type of clothes or women uh, women are wearing. We care more about the pounds they're keeping off more than the clothes that they're putting on, right? I I think you're absolutely right about that. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Linda on the Tom Liger Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. I was trying to get information on why is it a deal about women's being fat. Why it's a deal about women's being fat? Yeah. Well, well it's a big deal because guys don't find it attractive, dear. Well, why does it matter what guys find attractive? They don't exist for guys. They exist for themselves. Well, that's my whole point. They're going to be by themselves if they look like that. Well, maybe that's... So I hope they're happy. Be, to be by themselves, but yeah, because hot chicks are never alone. Hot chicks have all the guys they want. What about you bald head guys walking around with your flat behinds and no hair on your head? I mean, you still want love and you get love. Yeah, you know, all I do is put a few hundred dollar bills on my head and I look great. Every everybody deserves to be loved. Fat? Aren't no, everybody does not deserve anything. Okay, and fat people certainly deserve to don't deserve to be lusted after, and most people don't. Well, there's plenty of fat people get lusted after. Uh, dear, some, trust me when I tell you, that fat fat people are there for poor guys who can't afford thin women. 
Well, when you when you talk about Star Jones, she isn't poor, so obviously she doesn't need uh, a guy. Well, that, that that's right, and, and and it's a good thing because no man would pay her bills. It's a good thing she has a career. Oh well, that's a wonderful thing. But there's plenty of women that don't need men to pay. No anything. man would pay her the bills of a Star Jones. Are you kidding me? She had to get a law degree. She had to become a tur an attorney. She had to get on television because no man would pay for that. Well, it's not about you men. That's the problem. Well, that, that's fine. Again, and those of you who want to be fat and alone, that's perfectly okay with me. Enjoy it, sweetie. I am not a fat person. You must have been shocked at one point somewhere in your life looking at a fat person while you feel that it's a big deal. Shocked? Is that something that that somebody you know and love got fat and it hurt your feelings? So I, not at all. By it? Not at all, because when they get fat, it's time to go. And when you get bald and fat, it's time to go but again. Uh, you know what? You know what's ne you know what's uh, you know what's uh, never empty. You know what? My wallet. My wallet is always full, and therefore there will always be beautiful women by my side. You you pick up prostitutes off the street, right? No, I never pay. Ah, uh, no, no. Women want to be near money. They want to be near success. They want to live off my fumes. Oh, God bless you. Off of your fumes. God bless you. That's right. They just want to get close to money, power, and fame, dear. You know when it's all said That's what women want. When it's all said and done. That's why Mick Jagger is still out there at 62 impregnating 27-year-old Brazilian models. Because that's what it's all about. When you got money, power, and fame, you can get whatever you want. I forgot that this is a talk show, but that's real rude for you to be. You forgot this is a talk show? What did you think you were talking about? I forgot this was a talk show. It's really sad that you're offended by fat women when men walk around bald and dead built. Well, and I, I, I don't really care about what men do because I'm not attracted to men in any case, even hot men. I don't really care what men do. Well, most fat women don't care about what men think either. either. That's well, clearly, that's why they're fat. That, that's why they're, they're fat around. because they don't care. And then they, But the thing is that you say they don't care, then they wonder why they don't get love. Then they wonder why they don't have a boyfriend. Then they wonder why they're the they're, they're, they're Aunt Jennifer who goes over with and visits her nieces and nephews because she'll never have any because no guy will ever knock her up. If they worry about that, then they wouldn't be as comfortable as they are. Self-esteem, they have great self-esteem. That's why That's, they, they have great self-esteem. And it's unjustified, of course, but they do have great self-esteem. I agree with you there. Unjustified to who? It's, uh, anybody who's that fat and feels good about themselves has a problem. Oh, really? You, that's yeah. so sad. Of course. That's sad that you would say that. Why would anyone feel good about being fat? Well, that's like somebody walking around with a handicap. I mean, if they would walk around and... and they probably have self-esteem problems, too. No, don't, I don't think that's a self-esteem problem. That's a person you don't. with great, with great self-esteem. A person with great self-esteem? Because they don't really care about people like you being concerned about... Oh, I, I agree with you that they have high self-esteem, but they should have low self-esteem because if they knew how little men like them, uh, then they, they would... If, if they could actually get a man to speak honestly the way I do and say how much we don't like that... Aren't you? And thank God that they're not because God created us all equal, really. You think so or not? Well, isn't it amazing? God creates uh, people fatter in America than in any other country. Isn't that amazing? I would agree with, I would agree with that. That's I, don't, I mean, God doesn't make fat people. God makes people. I, I'm an atheist. I don't even believe that. But you know what I'm saying. If there's a God, he makes people. And people make themselves fat. I don't think so. That, that, yeah, that, let me tell you, you, most people make themselves fat. That 1 or 2% of a thyroid problem, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll give them a break. I'll cut them some slack. But the okay. other 98% who can't stop eating and eating and eating, well, tough that's luck. That's country that we live in. Tough luck. Everything is excessive in this country. Well, I, again, uh, you know what? When I've got money, I don't have to be with a fat woman. Well, that's wonderful. I hope the skinny woman that you're with that enjoys your stupidity. Oh, but the stupid, my stupidity is what puts dinner on the table. And she can't eat it because I don't want her getting fat. She's not independent enough to put food on the table for herself, right? No, that's my point. The independent women are the fat women, the fugly women, the women who will never, ever get a man to pay their bills. I cannot believe I'm talking to you. Are we on the that's air? That's who the independent women are. Are we on the air? Oh, did you want to be on the air? Hold on a second. I'll get Tom.
It's the Tom Likas Show. Let's say hello to Linda. Hello. Yes. Can I help you? Okay, we did a bunch of talking. We weren't on the air. We were talking about... You didn't tell me you wanted to be on the air. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I I didn't know we were debating. We were debating. That's why I called... Oh. To to hear... For other people to hear the, the debate that we were having about you being... Totally empty-headed about women being oh, fat. Did I say that, that I was empty-headed? I said you were. Oh, you said I was. Yeah, because that's nonsense that you're talking about. Well, how could and you I, say that? I, and I didn't know you was an atheist. That makes all the sense in the world for you to Does make it? comments like that. You think so? Yeah, why would an atheist? Why would an atheist that? believe that more than other people? I understand that. I didn't realize that when we started the conversation until you... But it's to my attention that you are an atheist, so that means... I am an atheist. That's right. I, I know this now. What, did, what difference does that make? You think that you think that Christian guys and Jewish guys, you think they like fat chicks? Don't kid yourself. They wouldn't. Because they're not attractive to look at. Because when a woman takes off her clothes and she has rolls of fat with, with drips of sweat coming out from the fat rolls, so gross. that is not a good look. That, that does not easy. arouse most men. That you just what you just described, and and basically that's that's why we're not attracted to fat women because that's what you get. Basically, oh really? That's right. Well, like I said before, evidently someone that you know and love must be fat in order for them to. In order Nobody to, I love is fat. <laughs> the people I love are not fat. There is somebody women. in your family that you truly love turns you off so bad. That you would be... It has nothing to do with my family, dear. So gross and, and so ugly. No. What is gross and ugly are fat women taking their tops off.